Good evening. I'm Jessica Moore. The National Security Council has confirmed several Americans were killed in the attack, but the exact number is still unclear. In Israel, more than 700 people are dead. The Israeli government warns it will take significant military steps in retaliation. This is new video from the Gaza Strip where Israel is conducting airstrikes. Explosions could be seen lighting up the sky. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner is here now with the latest developments. Lisa. Well, Jessica, more than 130 people are being held hostage in Gaza, according to Hamas and Islamic Jihad. The Pentagon has ordered U.S. warships to move closer to Israel, including the aircraft carrier USS Gerald R. Ford. Hamas gunmen smashed their way through the barrier that Israel uses to contain Palestinians in Gaza. In Starot, in the south, Hamas gunmen overran a police station, killing dozens, now a charred ruin. Israeli officials say the militants, designated as terrorists by the U.S., have fired more than 4,000 rockets at Israel and arrived by sea and air using paragliders. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said his country is now engaged in a, quote, long and difficult war. Israel's pummeling the Gaza Strip with hundreds of airstrikes, demolishing this 14-story building that it says was used by Hamas. The air assault, a response to the deadly Hamas strike on Saturday. The Israeli Rescue Service says at least 260 people were killed at a music festival in the south. This mom told CNN she believes the body of her daughter, 23-year-old Shani Luke, was seen in video being paraded around Gaza. She said she's going to take the car now and go to a safe location. She was there also with the tourist group with Mexican and Guatemalan and European people and most of them are also still missing. Israel Defense Forces say at least 57 soldiers have been killed in the line of duty. Among them, 42-year-old Colonel Jonathan Steinberg. Actually getting the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. The friends of the IDF National Director Major General Nadav Padan calls him an amazing man. The Manhattan resident left his wife and teenage son Sunday to board a flight from JFK to Israel to fight. My father was an Holocaust survivor, and I'm carrying his mission with me to defend Israel. The U.N. Security Council held an emergency meeting with the U.S. demanding all 15 members strongly condemn the terrorist attacks committed by Hamas, but took no immediate action. What we are witnessing are war crimes, blatant barbaric war crimes, slaughtering civilians, abusing hostages, taking babies from their, Ruth, from their mothers, there are no words to describe such savagery. This is Israel's 9-11. The permanent observer of the state of Palestine to the United Nations made this statement at the meeting. Israel keeps saying the blockade and repeated assaults on Gaza are to destroy Hamas, military capabilities, and ensure security. Clearly, and, ex and expectedly, its blockade and assaults accomplished neither. And we have heard from many Americans in Israel who are trying to get home. That is proving to be more difficult as the number of flights being offered has decreased. Jessica. All right. Thank you, Lisa.